On audio tracks, I can also import some of the extensive loops that are part of the Logic Pro library. To do so, I'm going to create a new track. Now, this time I'm going to create an audio track again, but I'm going to tap here in the extra options that I have available. And here I can choose if the track is going to be mono or stereo, the channel input, if I want input monitoring. But when it says type, instead of patches, I'm going to select loops. That means that when I open the browser, it's going to bring me right to the loops. And let's say I want to look for some electronic loops for drums. Here I have some options. I can just preview it. So if I like this one, for example, I can just tap hold and drag it to my track and it's right there. The loop will adapt automatically to the tempo of the song, as you can see. So now if I play everything together, test, 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 microphone check, microphone check, check, check. Now, if I want to duplicate this, again, the easiest way is to select the region, select my duplicate tool, and simply tap, hold, and drag. Test, 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 test. Now, if I want to duplicate both, I can just with a multi select option select both. And then just move them together. So again, if I want to duplicate all four, I'm going to get the multi-select tool, now drag across, take the multi-select tool off, and now tap hold and drag and duplicate them all. So now I have 16 bars of loops that all work together with the rest of the tracks. Test, 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 microphone check, microphone check, check, check. Now, as much as I like my vocal performance here, I'm going to uh, delete these regions. A quick way to do it is, again, select the multi-tool up here, then tap and drag, and then just tap on these regions. Make sure that select, the multi-select tool is off, and then select delete. All right. So now I'm going to maybe import an audio loop from Logic's library. So I'm going to look for voices. So I already select a filter for voices. And I'm going to browse through some voices. So let's say that I like this one. I'm going to just tap, drag it, and move it right here. Now, if I want to transpose this vocal because it doesn't match the key of the tracks, I can do that. Again, I'm going to turn off my library here, go to my information. And as you can see in the region option, um, of course, as I said, I can quantize it, but I can also transpose it right here, right? In this case, the piece that I played here is in D, and so I'm going to just transpose it up a whole step. So I'm going to just tap two half steps, and now the vocal is going to match. Now I can duplicate this again by having my duplicate option there. Tap, hold, and drag, and here we go. Now, because in this section I went up a whole step again, I can duplicate this.
but now these two regions need to be transposed by four half steps. So as you can see, it's really flexible. You can do a lot in Logic Pro, even with audio tracks and built-in loops that come with Logic Pro.